Turtles wait time to beat and into the park. Huh?
choice. Do me a favor, big bro. Watch the little ones back. Farewell, my friends. Please do not use selfie sticks while you are on board. And now, as Sea Biscuit said, we are off to the races. <coughs> Actually, uh, Sea Biscuit is a horse and does not talk. But Toby McGuire did a great job in that film, and you may see the poster as we make our way down the Universal timeline. On either side of the road, we have posters. A soundstage is basically a warehouse space that is nearly. 100% soundproof, 98% generally. In addition to helping to manage audio, you may also notice that this picture from inside of a soundstage does not have show any windows because there are not a lot of windows in a soundstage and you can see just by looking out on either side of you that that is also true from the outside. 5195, he did work with Universal and he directed Marty, The Birds, and Psycho while he was here. In pre-production, you do things like write the script, cast the actors, figure out your locations. And when you're filming in a soundstage, that simplifies things. We are going by some of our newest sound stages. These are the Will and Grace sound stages on your left. We also film Lopez versus Lopez right there. And those are both filmed in front of a live studio audience. And my good friend Jimmy also filmed. Yeah, you can make it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even if you make it here on the Universal lot. On your left, you can see Courthouse Square from the Back to the Future film. Grace Pizza. Yeah. And here are a couple yeah. other examples of yeah. films and TV shows Where's that used our Courthouse Square set. American yeah, right they just use it for film, for movies. Take a look. You heard Peter Jackson. Get those 3D glasses ready. We'll let you know when to put them on. And please do stay seated and hold on to those personal items as we visit Skull Island. Go ahead and get those 3D glasses on.
of Flintstone vehicles are actually made from foam, rubber, that and air, plastic. That airplane. Are the Flintstones, are you like that? No. That airplane no, no, no. car. <laughs> the airplane car is my favorite. Okay, yeah. I'm going to tell you my Potter. favorite. It oh, is Harry the Potter. Gyrosphere That's from Jurassic World. Uh, and I will tell you mine oh. in just a second. But first, Don't I want to this pink furious. that we have from the Don't Transformers it movies. It looks pretty legit, right? Like it's made yeah. of steel and iron and rivets. It is actually made of plywood and PVC pipe. What? Much lighter, much easier to transport. Now, that gyrosphere that I mentioned pipes and is my favorite because there are actually two different versions of the gyrosphere while filming Whoa. Jurassic World. On your left is the mobile lab that was used in Jurassic Park A Lost World. And normally we have some dinosaurs in the cages, so I'm really sorry we don't have those today, but, oh, oh, I misspoke. Okay, um, the dinosaurs are out of the cages. Uh, maybe Garrett can get, call headquarters and just let them know that the dinos are out. Oh my goodness, my apologies. The Spinosaurus, as you can see here, also is actually a very friendly dinosaur. All of our dinosaurs are pretty friendly, in fact, because Jurassic Park has been out for 30 years, so we have had 30 years to train up our dinosaurs and get them on their best behavior. They first film and they are hot on camera. So we're in our old Mexico set now, and we get to see some practical effects in action. First, we've got that lightning. Those are just some good old-fashioned strobe lights creating that lightning effect. We are guaranteed rainy days here in California, so we have to make our own. Those are sprinklers. And it's really important to combine the light with the rain either through the strobe lights doing lightning or some other type of light design because illuminating those water droplets makes them much more visible to the human eye and much more visible to the camera's eye so they actually translate in the final image but practical effects range from small Whoa. to large so let's try something a little bit bigger from Big Fat Liar. At least none of us got as wet as Paul Giamatti or his stunt double, if we're gonna be accurate. We're now in our Western sets. The film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood filmed right at this tavern with the bluish green columns. The door is open, so go ahead and peek inside. That's what we call a practical set because you can film on the inside and outside. Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt watch down these very streets. Yogurt, yogurt, yogurt is going to come up very soon on your left side. It will be just around this turn that we're making. And you'll notice the tan building with the red trim and blue door on the left. Now, I'm going to leave this image up here so that everyone on the tour can check out that shot and then check out the building. This space, our little Europe sets, have been, also, have been used for a lot of different places, including Genovia from The Princess Diaries 2, A Royal Engagement. These sets were also used for Roger and Hammerstein's Cinderella, starring Brandy and Whitney Houston. We're passing our Court of Miracles now, which is where the very first Hunchback of Notre Dame movie was filmed. It was actually released 100 years
you've all just met Bruce the Shark. Desperate Housewives television show. Mm -hmm. Also, the Netflix show Never Have I Ever, starring my Trayi Ramakrishnan and created by I've Mindy Kaling, before. films right here too. It is coming back to Netflix for its final season starting tomorrow. But if you don't recognize Colonial Street from any of those projects, maybe you'll recognize to a studio dilemma. when you could just go ah, out to a real neighborhood and film. Lang ang may you may have noticed there's a bit of destruction oh, that sometimes goes into the movie in those clips. Ah, ito. You may have also noticed that we can go from fancy ito. house to frat house Parang hindi yan. without worrying too much about that damage. If you were to go into someone's home, rent out the space, and then break a couple of their windows, they would probably be a little upset and ito, may ito. have some trouble ito. with their HO. We've got uh, some of our Fast and Furious vehicles. We've got that big old bus. Okay, now, next step. Imagine you're driving that car and you're on a road trip. But you're tired because road trips are tiring. So it's time for you to chill out and maybe just... And we have the original mother's house up oh, upon the house. hill. And oh, oh, it looks like Norman is here. He's such a hard worker, really loves his mom. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh, he must be helping someone check out. That's nice, actually. <laughs> oh, that's not where people usually sit. What? Who's someone picking there? <laughs> oh. oh, oh, Norman, no, not again. Norman, the little set that we drove by where you can film on the inside and the outside, this is what we call a shell, where you only film on the outside, but a lot of time and attention was still put into those 360 degrees of outdoor space. Just like a lot of time and attention was put into creating this set from War of the Worlds, the film was directed by Steven Spielberg huh? and stars oh, Tom Cruise. Of the world. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just to sit down and talk about the world. Well, that oh, but the no one was in it. Was right in a no. big neighborhood. Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. Robbie, get in.